Cruz. I'm Daniel from Coralus, and today for Product Thursday, I have Poseidon's Phyto Tank. Now, I've been using this for a week now, and it says after seven to 10 days, you can split the culture. So I'm gonna do that with you guys today, just to show you how easy it is, and see how it's been working for me. So, first of all, I have my air pump on, and I have my light, and they give you guys, they're so worried about contamination with this, that they give you extra nozzles for your um, air tubing. And one of the reasons why they suggest air tubing and not an air stone is because the air stones can actually kill your phyto. They will bind to the air bubbles and they'll be brought to the surface and they will die there. So that's something that you don't want to happen. So you're better off with just the air tube. So what I'm gonna do first of all is disconnect the airline. And one of the genius things that they also have about this system is they use a bag. Now, the light, if you actually didn't use a bag, the algae would just grow on the glass and within a week or two you would just have a mess on the side of the glass. So by having the light wrapped around the container and also having a bag, you don't ever have to clean the bag, you just dispose of it each time. So that's really cool. So this is what it looks like underneath. You just have your airline tubing and then this is your breather. Because if you have air going in, air has to come out. And this just keeps some of the water from splashing. One of the things that you'll need when you're harvesting your culture is you'll need some fresh salt water to replace the salt water that you're taking out. Now the phyto has grown and has taken up that area and then reproduced, but we're removing the salt water. So you don't want to use salt water from your tank because that tank, that water can be contaminated with different things and that can kill your phytoculture. So by keeping it clean and by using RODI water and fresh salt water, you don't have to worry about that contamination. So even dust in the room can contaminate. That's why we use these special tops and we use a filter for your airline. So this is only after seven days and this looks pretty dark green. It's pr I'm pretty impressed, um, considering I only started out with a little bag, and now I have this big bag. So we need to keep 25% of this culture to replenish, and you guys can check that out. There is a really cool wraparound LED light in there. So we're gonna replace this bag and then put 25% in. You can see the bottom of the bag, that little mess that's here. Um, if you were using a container instead of the bag over a few weeks, you could see how disgusting that would get. So I really love this bag idea. It's so hassle-free. The culture looks dark green. I mean, I'm pretty impressed so far. So I'm gonna feed my corals and see what happens. But let's finish putting this back together. So we put 25% of our culture back in here. And then we're gonna top it off with salt water. We have our fresh salt. Okay, so we're going to dispose, we're going to take this nozzle, it is a compression fitting so you have to push it in, 
As we pull it out, remove that dirty one. They also want you to rinse off the inside with an alcohol uh, swab or something. So that seems to be pretty important. So I cleaned off the top. I'm gonna reinsert the stem for the breather, for the airline, and put the other one on top. The water level is correct. We checked it at the line. You can see how thick the harvested is versus the freshly made batch because this is diluted since we're using the same culture to regrow extra that we need to use that each time. So you always have to have a starter culture so you can harvest and you can grow more. So we're gonna put in, since this is a smaller bottle, we're gonna put in about half a milliliter of each of the fertilizers. Make sure I reattach the air hose. Without the airline, it doesn't move. The phytoplankton will actually be, will die if you let it sit too long. If you try to store this, you can store it in your fridge. Just make sure you take a bottle and shake it every so every couple days. So that's it. There's really not that much to it. Um, you can harvest it, like I said, every seven to ten days. It makes a decent amount. It's a cool little toy. As long as you stay up on it, and you have enough bags, and you replace what you need to replace, and you feed it. Um, you shouldn't have a problem, your system shouldn't crash. So we'll be starting week two on our culture with Poseidon's Phytotank. We're pretty happy so far. What we got looks delicious. I'm sure the corals and fish are gonna love it. So we're gonna throw that in there and then we'll see what happens next week. Thanks for watching as always, happy reefing. Please feel free to leave your question and comments below. Until next time.